Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, and today we are going to be looking at equality and relational operators. Now these are going to be super important because they're really going to help define uh, what we're going to be using in the future videos, which is going to be, you know, conditional operators and math operators and everything else. So the first things first is let's go ahead and define some integers here. We'll say candy bar. This is going to equal two. We're going to say int apple and this is going to equal one, right? So our candy bar equals two dollars and our apple equals one dollar. Now with equality and relational operators, we have equal to or double equals. We have not equal to, then we have greater than, less than, or greater than or equal to or less than and equal to. So what we're going to say is we're going to combine our if statements from last video and we're going to say if, oh, we need one more int up here, I forgot. So int money equals two. So we're going to go ahead and say if money is greater than or equal to apple, we're just going to go ahead and say system.out.println you can purchase the apple and we're just going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to paste this down here because we want it to also run if we did else if it's only going to run if this returns false so if is greater than candy bar or equal to candy bar you can purchase the candy bar so now if we run these it should outprint us too there we go so it's telling us that we can purchase the apple and we can also purchase the candy bar. But if we go ahead and change our money to one, you can see there that it's only telling us that we can purchase the apple because our money is not greater than or equal to the candy bar. So let's go ahead and change this to, it has to be exactly equal, right? So we're gonna change these to doubles. We're gonna change these to doubles and we're gonna say this cost us now 250. There was a crazy price, uh, hike in candy bar price and this is gonna equal 115. So it's telling us that it has to be exactly equal to it, right? So now if we run this, it's not gonna print anything because we don't have, our money is not equal to any of the values. But if we go ahead and say 1.15, we have the exact change, we can purchase this. And now if we change this to 1.6, it's telling us that, well, it's still incorrect because it's not exactly equal to 1.15. This this cashier wants exact change in nothing but. So we can't get it. We have one penny too much. And now if we change this to 250, we can see there that we have exactly enough for the candy bar. Although we do have enough money technically for the apple, we don't have the exact change. So we can't get the apple and our only choice is to get the candy bar because we have exactly 250. So now we can also go ahead and say, if money is less than or equal to, we can change this, you cannot purchase the apple. And we can change this, you cannot purchase the candy bar. So if it is less than or equal to, or we'll just say less than, because not equal to, because if it's equal to, then we can buy it. So if it's less than, we, it's gonna tell us that we can't, but our money is greater than everything right now. So if we change this to one, and you cannot purchase the apple, you cannot purchase the candy bar because our money is less than the cost of the apple or the candy bar. But we can also go ahead and say, if it is not equal to apple, you can not purchase it, right? So that's just another way of having that. So money is not equal to apple, or if it is not equal to candy bar, we cannot purchase it. But again, if we change this back to 1.15, it's not gonna outprint us anything for Apple because we can purchase it, but it is gonna outprint us something for the candy bar because we don't have the exact change. So that is the equality and relational operators. Again, it's equal to, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or less than or equal to. So 
pretty, pretty simple stuff here. Um, once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you're having troubles, just go over there and check it out. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.